So what we're going to do is we're going to attach the Instagram to the source code, right? So what we need to do is create an access token for Instagram. We're going to go to Instagram and we're going to log in, put that there, and then I have the password. Now, it's important that we do this because as we go through, we'll have to log into Instagram several times to approve the access key and do that. So if Safari is already logged into it, every time you go, it'll just automatically log itself in. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to developer, developer uh, dot uh, Facebook dot com. Now we're in, in, you know, log into yours. Mm -hmm. So once you're logged in up here, it says my apps right over here. Mm -hmm. Click on that. So once you see this page, you're going to hit create app. Then we're going to go to something else. And we're, that's the one we're going to choose. Not manage, not build, not build connect experience. We're going to choose something else. Hit continue. And then we're going to do display name. So you'll put the app name here, right here. We're going to say no business management. Okay. Uh, the, the email will just grab the Facebook that it's in, which is ours. Okay. So now from here, what we're looking for is the Instagram basic setup. Boom. We're going to hit that guy. So once you click on that, we're going to hit create new app and we're going to name it app. We'll just put the word app on there just so it kind of all makes sense create new app and we're going to name it empty clippers app. We'll just put the word app on there just so it kind of all makes sense. Boom. And there it goes. It's done this now. And then we're going to hit add Instagram tester. Boom. And it'll do a search for, so it'll find it. So now what it's doing is it's connecting. What it did was it told, you see here how it says pending. So it's now pending in his. So now once you've done that, the next thing you have to do is go to Instagram, go to uh, your profile, and go to settings. Now, once you go to settings, it's going to say apps and websites. We'll go there. Once you go to apps and websites, we're going to say tester invites. Okay. So you see the MT Clippers, the Facebook app, MT Clippers app is requesting permission. So we're going to say accept. So it accepted it, and then we're going to go back here. Now that that's set up, like if I, you see how it says pending, if I refresh the page, it'll say, it doesn't say pending anymore, right? So you go up here, you go to settings, then you go to basic. Here, we're going to put uh, an app domain. You can use your website, or you can just put effects.com. It really doesn't matter. Um... This doesn't, so you do need to put a website name, but besides that, it's fine. Then we're going to put business and pages, but we will say yourself or your own business. We'll do that one. Save changes. So basically now it's going to allow me to create a token. Now that the person has been added, right? We're going to go to Instagram basic display. This is where you go to create the, the token. This is where it's at. All right, so I'm going to scroll down here. Now, for the uh, app redirect link, so it's <laughs> api.effects.com forward slash Instagram dash token. That's what it is. Everything else can just be effectsapps.com. All right, cool. So once all that's done, we'll do save changes changes, then you can click on generate token. Okay. Now this is going to ask you to log into Instagram again. And again, because we're already logged in or it already knows it. it and then we got to authorize it. And then you'll say, I understand. And now you have the actual token. So now that the token is created. So really, once you have this token, copy it and send it over to us at effects apps then we'll, we'll put it into your app.